Today I'm going to be doing a guitar tutorial for the song 98 Braves by Morgan Wallen. This has been by far one of the most requested songs from you guys from his new album for me to teach it and kind of watch how he plays it. I haven't found an actual video yet of him playing this acoustically like by himself and as far as I know this is uh he hasn't released like an acoustic session of the song. If he does I'll probably watch that and redo this video but today I'm going to listen to the the song and try and teach you guys how to play it as close as possible based on you know just trying to listen to it to the studio record. I have heard this song a bunch of times. It's one of my favorites on the album too, but I haven't tried to figure it out on guitar yet. So that's what I'm going to do today. And without further ado, let's jump into it. This is 98 Braves by Morgan Wallen. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to keep up with the Joneses I guess destiny ain't always meant to be Kinda like you and me that day We got close okay. to close, doesn't cut it so I want to break down that verse part quickly. What I can tell right away is that the song, I have my guitar in standard tuning, and the song is in the key of D, the key of D major. You know, so you could kind of play it like that. Although just listening to that opening, that opening verse, I think what they'll probably do so that right there, that makes me, what you can do as well is capo up and play in a different key. So like playing in the key of D, if you capo on the second fret, but you play key of C chord shapes, you're basically playing key of D chord shapes, but just capo on the second fret. So that's technically a D major, right? Like if I take the capo off, D major, capo on the second fret, a C major is a full step lower than a D, but I capoed up two frets. So now that C is a D. And if I had to guess, just kind of listening to this um, this verse here, I think they'll probably capo second fret and walk down because what you would do, yeah, that's just kind of a natural progression walk down, but let me just listen to it again quick. Remember sitting at that house, living room couch, thinking no way them boys wouldn't win. Between them big three pictures, Andrew and that Atlanta magic got put out by them damn Padres. That's for sure what they're doing. So if I was gonna play this like the studio version here, I would capo on the second fret and play key of C chord shapes. So for that verse, what you have is you're starting on that C major. And you're going to walk down to an A minor. So you go. It's kind of like the notes you'll play on the top string. And then there's an F major. So you have C, um, this is like a B over C, A minor, F, and then back to C major. But there's a lot of picking involved here. So there's gonna be a lot of right hand coordination on those chords. Sounds pretty close to me, but I just want to listen to it one more time. Probably at half speed, too. I remember sitting at that house, living room couch, thinking no way them boys wouldn't win. But as fate would have it, that Atlanta magic got put out by the. Okay, so yeah, so for the for the verses, this is how I would kind of play it, just sound as close as possible to this. So you're gonna start out on that C major. And to open the song, they do a hammer on on the fourth string of the third fret. So I'm in that, that C major chord shape position. And I'm gonna hammer on with my pinky finger to the fourth string on the third fret. So I'm gonna pick it open and then hammer on. And real quick too, I just wanna make this disclaimer. I will have a chord and tab sheet that I hand make for this song. If you wanna get all of, all of the tabs that I cover in this video, um, you can find that over on my Patreon and I'll link it in the video description um, if you're interested. So I hammer on. 
and then I'm going to pick the third and the second string in that chord position. So once you do this part, you're going to pick the C major chord, that fifth string on the C, and then you're also going to pick 3-2 again. You're going to do the same thing, but you're going to walk down, so now my middle finger is on the second fret of the, of the fifth string. And then you do the same thing, open, so this is your A minor now. And this is where it changes a little bit. This, this one has a little more picking. So what I'm doing is I'm going five, four, two, three, four, three. And then you go to that F chord, that F major chord, which I play like this. And I kind of like to do almost like a hybrid strum pick pattern here to make it sound a little more full. So I strum the F chord, but then I hammer on with my middle finger to the, the third string on the second fret. And then I kind of like, hammer on, down, up, down, up, down, up. C major hammer. So that, that's kind of weird, like really slow, that F to end it goes. The other thing you could do too, if you didn't want to like do that hybrid pick slash strum is you could go strum it and then hammer on, but then do five, three, five, three, but now open five, four, and then C major hammer on. So. Kind of something like that. So really slow all together, that verse picking pattern. And I actually think that's almost how you played the entire verse. So really slow all together. That should sound something like this. And then you would repeat that twice for the intro. And then really for the verse, you um, you only do that. So this part here, you only do that for like the first two um, intro progressions. And then from there, you just start on the C. So, you know, you go, um, remember sitting at the house, living room couch, thinking no way them boys wouldn't win. So you just, you know, you repeat that, but you don't do that F part. You just do it from the C. As fate would have it, then Atlanta Magic at Porta, and then Padres. The other thing to, to note too is like when you actually start doing the verse pattern between the chords. So you had this to kind of for the intro, but then once you do the the verse picking pattern, so the. That thing I did right there, once you. Once you hammer onto the C, I do like a down, hammer on, down, up. And then I hammer on again to that third string on the second fret. And then I pick the second and third string, or the third and second string. And that's honestly how I think you play almost all of the verse so far. And then I believe the chord progression for the chorus is the same, but you'll probably do like some strumming to, to pick up the uh, dynamics of the song. F, C, C, walk down, A minor. There's that little transition there. So the chorus has the exact same chord progression. You go from C down to that uh, C over B to the A minor to the F back to the C. You could do the same verse picking pattern there and 
probably play that for the whole song. What I would probably do is do a little bit of strumming to kind of keep the same rhythm and tempo of the song. Let me just go back and listen to it one more time. Yeah. So what I would probably do is I'd do something like Kind of something like that if I was gonna strum the, the chorus part. So all I'm doing there, same chord progression, but I'm going down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. But I'm also at the very end doing that like hammer on to the F chord. Kind of similar to what we did in the verses with the picking pattern. Something like that. Again, I'll have this broken down in that tab sheet with all the up down strokes and like when the hammer on and stuff. But again, you could just do that. You know, that kind of thing, I messed up there a little bit, but that kind of thing for the um, the choruses as well if you wanted to. But that's how I would play it if you wanted to pick up the energy and just do, do some strumming. And so far, I think honestly though, just from hearing this song previously, that's probably how you're gonna play the whole song. That's how you'll play the verses, the picking for the verses, and then that strumming for the choruses, because I don't think there's a bridge. Awesome. Drumming here, the chorus drumming. Yeah. I mean, that song is so, like, the songwriting there is unbelievable. I think Morgan knocked it out of the park with that song, even though I don't think he's a, a writer on it. It's an amazing song. But yeah, guys, like, literally, that verse picking pattern and that chorus strum pattern was how you play the whole song. I'll have the chords over the whole song in that lyric sheet that I mentioned, but that's how you literally play the whole song if you wanted to. One nuance that I did notice that there that occurs sometimes is when you're doing this walk down, that thing right there, sometimes on that C over B, I hear this note here, that's the, um, I'm putting my, my pinky finger on the second string of the third fret, so. That right there. You know, so instead of doing, keeping that, you do that right there. Um, it doesn't happen often and it seems like somewhat sporadic, but that is something you could kind of mix into that pattern if you wanted to. But yeah, that's pretty much how you play the whole song. I know it's not as easy as it seems. There's a lot of right hand coordination, you know, in timing up that left hand. And also if you're gonna sing on top of that, that's gonna be, it's gonna take a lot of practice. But just to quickly recap, capo second fret, standard tuning on guitar. The song we said was in the key of D, but since you're capo on the second fret, you play key of C chord shapes. You had a C major, a C over B, an A minor, in an F. Those were your four chords in the song. And then the verse, the verse pattern kind of sounded something like this. Except that part there, that hammer on um, that we talked about, you only do that in the intro, the first two intro uh, measures. And then from there, it's just C. Know, something kind of like that. So you repeat that for the verses, and there's some nuance there that we went over in more detail in the in that part of the video. And then I mentioned in the choruses, you have the same chord progression, but now you, uh, to pick up like the energy that matches the song, I would do a strum pattern. And the strum pattern I would do would sound something like this. So 
So I'm going down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Close, but close doesn't cut it. And you would end up with nothing. Three by five, she hide in the drawer. Swung for the fences, we came up short. I did it a little differently there. Sometimes on the F, I'll, I'll switch to it on the up strum. Something like that. Don't get too fixated on like matching my exact progression or sorry, my, my strum pattern there. It's something close to that. So if you do the one that I uh, went over in more detail in the video, it'll sound really close to the rhythm of this song. And yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it, honestly. Again, if you want my handmade chord and tab sheet for this song, I will link it in the video description. And also just let me know if you guys have any comments or questions uh, by commenting below. Happy to help where I can. And uh, yeah, it's not an easy song. It will take some practice, but for sure doable. As always, let me know what other songs you want me to teach or react to on guitar. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.